even if we are a shoe in candidate, uh, we must show that we are a serious candidate, uh, very much sensitized about the issues that affect people, not just in Malaysia but elsewhere. There is vulnerability about about missiles that fly at night uh, from unknown areas and unknown um, perpetrators uh, to kill people in some uh, village or town alleged to have terrorists. And this completely confounds and makes nonsense uh, sovereignty. The, 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 what, the, the respect for sovereignty is not yeah, there. So uh, this factor will arise in the Security Council and Malaysia must not be mute and take into account too much of uh, our partiality or partisanship towards certain countries but must speak out and I think we have a record of speaking out. We must have in the first place enough able people in various aspects, including the legality of things. When we were there the other time, it was just a lawyer bureau all over the place. No real lawyers, uh, international lawyers, uh, helping us to look at these issues. If there are problems with the Chinese on South China Sea and the Sprat List and all those historical claims and counterclaims, and if it ever gets to the Security Council, it will be a great test for Malaysia. And I hope. Malaysia will fare very well in that test. I would be very disappointed if we are seen to have taken a back seat on such deliberation. Because those things are relevant to us. It is our part of the world. When Malaysia gets into the Security Council, I mean, if, when, if, if, then, we are honor bound. I would, I, this is what the people of Malaysia would expect us to do, the government to do, to really push for an improvement and elevation of uh, the Palestinian status, uh, even in, in small but significant ways, so that eventually they will become like any other country in, in the UN. I think uh, France, Britain, Russia, China are quite open to support to having this done. It is important that the, the five permanent members should not always be seen to get away doing things the way they want it. There must be enough uh, calculation insisted by us, enough uh, time to study things. Uh, we accept that they have a greater role and greater understanding of things um, from the perch where they are. But we must be allowed to play our part in the two years that we serve the Security Council. Whatever happens in the country now, in our country, is immediately flashed all over the world. If you are a member of a Security Council, uh, even more so, uh, the negative things that happen in your country, whether you like it or not, can be uh, dramatically exposed there. Yeah? So, uh, in the time that we are in the Security Council, um, you, we must also try to have a kind of manifest stability and uh, clear-mindedness in the conduct of government and in the conduct of politics within our country. Well, uh, we have to, we know, when we are in the Security Council, one of the things that we will be pushing when we talk about moderation is national reconciliation. Reconciliation within parties, reconciliation uh, within a certain territorial uh, environment, and regional reconciliation. If we cannot manifest national reconciliation in Malaysia, if the political parties squabble, and, and one party says it's the sun, and the other party says it's the moon, then uh, we are not going to project the idea of national cohesion and national coherence. If uh, b bodies challenge the constitution, if bodies bring out the, I mean, the, the country doesn't seem to be as at peace as it was before.
people using us as an area where things are fomented for extremist actions. That is bad. Uh, if it is there, it must be completely removed. And the bodies that are responsible for this, and I'm very serious about this, have to do it. There is no, uh, no reason to, do it, to try to sweep things under the carpet or to deny. If it is there, it must be completely expunged.